One of the things that's happening now is that a lot of people are holding out their hands for the largesse that the federal government is spending on this industry, and some of them aren't even Aboriginals. I've got a clip from Insight on SBS, which ran just last week. Here's the clip. This, this increase in um, fake Aborigines coming into the organisation, and some of those organisations only have membership of about 40 or 50. You could have these people who, get, who tick the box and get rubber stamped, they're going through the system and are being allowed to identify uh, they can soon take over a lot of the organisations and it's a $40 billion industry. And of course, people are uh, being remunerated very handsomely to, to hold a lot of senior positions. And Gary, there's fake Aborigines occupying this $40 billion industry. Shouldn't the government be stamping out this type of corruption instead of just blindly funding it? Well, Fred, if you go down that path, it's going to be tears at bedtime. The better path is to say, you should receive benefits on the basis of need and we just forget whether you are an Aboriginal or not. So what we're seeing is the development here of an internal war between groups of people who claim to be Aboriginal and the white society has never wanted, well, in the last 50 years, has never wanted to measure so that all of the government departments I've ever spoken to, state and federal, never want to actually test the credibility of a claim that they are Aboriginal. And we know that it's wrought it. All I'm saying is, let's not go down a path where we prove who is and is not. It could be very nasty. Better to say, in fact, let's set a target. By 2030, no program in Australia should be race-based. That's fair enough. I mean, we're, we're not a racist country. Well, here's, a, here's, a, here's another statistic that explains why the problem is so entrenched. 35% of all Australian kids born in 2018 were born to unmarried mums. Of those, in 4% of cases, the dad wasn't involved. Now, the figure skyrockets when it comes to Indigenous kids. So, in, with Indigenous kids in 2018, uh, born in 2018, 87% of them had unmarried mums. And of those, 22% the dad wasn't involved. Gary, this is a recipe for disaster. It is. It's, it's a good insight into the breakdown of Aboriginal society. Uh, those figures come from the Northern Territory. So if you're looking at New South Wales people of Aboriginal descent, they're a lot healthier. They have integrated, there's less family breakdown. So we're seeing among the supposed you know, real Aborigines, those sitting in the Territory of Northern Australia, the greatest strife, the breakdown in families. That's why people are getting into trouble and going to jail. That's why women are being beaten. That's why... Children are suiciding. That's why they're on the drug, on drugs. And what's happened is there's a new contract out in remote Australia, and it's that Aborigines are saying, I don't have to play by your rules. But when they don't, it kills them because they've not learned to adapt to our, our being all Australians, our society. And if you don't know the rules, you will fail.